We now return to Let's Play Afterlife. Yeah, I know. We are in a rare situation where I now actually have more angels. souls in heaven! Yay! Okay, so it's not that big a deal, but the powers that be think it is, and have assigned a bunch of angels to build you an audio improving embophone. Pretty nifty, huh? Okay, yeah, and we also got 500,000 souls. But what I was saying was that we are in a unique position where I now have under 10% imported angels. And, uh, well... Um, this is kind of embarrassing, boss. <laughs> well, we've trained so many angels that, well, we've got more than heaven needs. You'd better shut off the Angel Training Center's PDQ. If I might be so bold as to chime in, sir, the thought of thousands of angels sitting around twiddling their pin feathers doesn't exactly fill me with girlish delight. You know what they say about idle hands. Yeah. Uh, anyway, there is a problem. We're almost in the uh, black. We're almost making profit here. And our topia is almost full. But there is a problem with having more angels than uh, are employed or employable, rather, and uh, not really in this particular situation, other than we would be paying for angels we don't need, uh, but when you are dealing with both heaven and hell, uh, when you have idle angels or demons, they, <clears throat> they sometimes riot, and so they will go between the realms and start causing havoc and destroying buildings and that sort of thing. Uh, it's not good. But, uh, I think we are ready to uh, continue on here. Now everything should be balanced. Oh wait, I was going to... I was going to put down my new reward. I think I'll put that this way, just in case I expand out. And I can put some new generic zoning, even though I really shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, the audio improving Embophone. Skegfod the Ungrateful Angel, Chapter 2. Standing on the balcony of his Vista Enhancement doohickey, the angel Skegfod was happier than he had been for hundreds of years. This is wonderful, he said. Everything, for as far as the eye can see, looks utterly perfect. Suddenly, a chorus of harps broke into a beautiful jam session of hallelujahs and hosannas, each one infinitely more melodious and harmonious than any piece of music found in the world of the living. Skegfod frowned. They're slightly out of tune, he whined. I'll have to do something about that. Weeks later, Skegfod unveiled his audio-improving Embophone, which had the ability to make every sound within a hundred mile radius bounce off the eardrums like a caress. The powers that be arched their collective eyebrows. Skegfod is an interesting character. Now all of these should be horribly unbalanced. Yes, they are. It's unfortunate that the macro manager just does not do what it should. First of all, you have to pay money to use it, but it takes an average of your temporary and permanent souls, and so when you uh, balance using that device, it just sort of does it on an average and when you go and look at uh, what it's done to your actual balance you find that almost everything is unbalanced it doesn't work right and of course this was back in the day when games were released pretty much finished 
and there might be one, maybe two patches ever in its lifetime, usually released a year or so after the initial release. Nowadays, game companies just throw out games half-finished and expect to patch them up the next day as soon as they're released. Ah, technology. Got some more changes going on. Not too bad. I really want to see this get going somewhere. Let's have a look at the vibes. Okay, now we've almost eliminated all of our bad vibes. Each reward successively increases its radius, so... By putting the bigger ones in the middle, I can expand to everything around it. Oh, were we actually making a profit there for just a little bit? We were. We're now making profit. Slow, steady profit. Um, we are also importing 17% of our angels. Not favorable. Um, I think we've run out of buildings to talk about. Okay, well, that one finally evolved. Again, I need to stop putting all these generic zones in. Because they are preventing people from moving into the other structures. We do now have 37 cents a soul coming in. Thirty-seven pennies, maybe. I'm not really sure, because penny is the monetary denomination of afterlife, and so you would think that that would come before the decimal. So we're not quite making a penny yet. We are making money, though, and that is what counts. So let's look at... The Embos invent pottery. With pottery, Embos can stockpile foodstuffs to guard against times of crisis, allowing more Embos to live in the same area. People rejoice as news of this discovery spreads. This scientific breakthrough has an immediate and profound effect on the everyday lives of many Embos. Its effects will be felt for hundreds of years. What will those zany Embos discover next? It took them nearly a thousand years to discover pottery on planet. But we should now be able to see... Technology, yep. The darker ones have pottery. The other ones do not. Wow. We've already gotten 200,000 more souls since I just started this video. That is probably going to go up exponentially here. Uh, let's increase that, even though balancing these isn't really that important because they can't evolve any further. Oh, there was one that was slightly unbalanced. Who's filling in here? Oh, now we're making a very good profit. Uh, green looks like it's going to start filling up next, so we should be focusing on balancing that. Wow, it's kind of unbalanced all over the place. Plague. A hundred thousand Embos killed. For some unfathomable reason, the Embos on the planet just don't believe in an afterlife as much as they should. And that's a very bad thing. Halo Brain is right. 
Without belief, your afterlife is nothing. And without your afterlife, we don't get paid. Hey, that's right. You better get those folks believing in an afterlife, boss, or we're all in trouble. Hmm. I suppose that was probably just because of the... disaster there, and so they wonder why I would let that happen. Most of them do believe in it. It's not really that big a problem. We have almost a million souls. Might be able to get that before the video is over, though. Uh-oh. The Heaven Knows is sniffing up everything in sight. Now, I don't think that's affecting us, right. The Heaven Knows is uh, that nose right there. And it will go along and sniff up structures in Hell and plop them down randomly in Heaven. And of course there is an equivalent, the Hell in a Handbasket, that uh, does the opposite. I think we're going to need to turn off the training centers again pretty soon. Yep. Hmm. Well, this isn't going as fast as I had hoped. Ah, 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 ah. Haha. <laughs> we just got the biggest reward for the generic zone. The Good Heavens Theme Park. Hey, recently deceased soul number 294321, you've just finished up a lifetime of pre unprecedented goodness. What are you going to do now? I'm going to heaven. So now I can add even more unnecessary generic zoning. about the training centers, we're fine, don't worry about it. 47 cents a soul. Halfway to a penny almost. Now, if I had been trying to do this without bad things turned on, uh, it would be nearly impossible. At some point, you know, you'll be making enough money that you can actually afford to turn them off. And it might be a good idea to do so, because when you've got a huge afterlife spanning the entire uh, square there, you will not be able to avoid bad things. And it could really screw things up. Alright, I was going to look at a new soul... Um, well, let's let, look at here, yeah, uh, Kloaktrkrknechterchlith, for charity. Cosmic ch whoa, I think we're starting at the bottom, oh, no, I guess not. Cosmic child, plagued by never tipping, seeks balancing outer soul, troubled by throwing temper tantrums for get-together impossible friendship. Must hate giving dumb looks and being cheaper than local government during budget hearings. Avoiding the Apple Ranch like nobody's business, a definite plus. Okay, well, I think we could probably do another almost a million souls. I'm going to do a quick rebalance here. because things are going pretty well. Got a little bit of congestion along these roads here. This just evolved. 
uh, the perfect evening for chaste souls. Whether it's a night on the town with a blind date or a quiet evening in a romantic bistro with your significant other, the angels who work in the perfect evening zones have conspired to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Ever. And the Final Curtain Theaters. Every night, without fail, the Final Curtain Theaters put on another brilliant production of some completely new show. And every night, another blessed soul becomes a star. What is keeping this from evolving? It's putting out very bad vibes. It's only partially diverse. Hmm. I wonder if it's just because there's a big empty space here. That could probably be why, and we now have a million souls here. The next reward is at five million. Topias are filling up. Now let's see, if I put another batch of zones in there. Yeah, that's how I'll do it. It says it takes 36 steps to get to this zone. 37. This only takes three to get here. It's horribly undiverse, though. So I guess generic zoning does not actually count as its own diversity. I think it's going to be quite a while before anything major happens again. So I'll cut this one a little bit shorter than usual. And I will see you next time.